Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we'll be creating three Christmas themed DIYs that will get you in the mood for the holiday season. Now I created a beautiful group of lighted winter houses. I also created some mini lamps and some decorative cone trees today. Now they're all easy to make and can be made using Dollar Tree items. Now I provided the list of supplies and tools used to make these projects in the description box below. Now I am so happy to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my amazing subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now let's jump right into these projects. Now the first project will be a set of decorative cone trees. Now for this project, we'll start with a sheet of poster board and this is from the Dollar Tree. We'll need one to two packs of this nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. We'll need some assorted packs of berries from the Dollar Tree. And we'll also need some of this mini garland from the Dollar Tree. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna take that poster board and a ruler and we're gonna mark the short side halfway in the center. And then I'm gonna take a piece of string or twine and I wanna hold one end on that center mark and the other end holding a pencil. Now and then I'm gonna draw a half circle on that poster board. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut out that half circle. Now on the other end of the poster board, we wanna lay down that half circle and we're gonna trace that shape onto the board and cut that out as well. So now we can form our cones and I'm just gonna start to roll from one end forming the cone as shown here. Now you kinda just wanna form it like you like and then place a piece of painter's tape on that seam for a temporary hold. Now I wanted my second tree to be slightly smaller so what I'm gonna do is cut off about an inch and a half around that half circle. And then I'm just gonna roll and form the cone just like we did with the first one. Now once your cones are nice and in the shape that you like, you can go ahead and remove that tape and what we're going to do is secure that seam with some hot glue. Now you wanna do this for the inside of the cone as well. And then repeat this for your second cone. Now to make the cones nice, firm, and sturdy, I'm gonna be stuffing them with some crumpled paper. Now you do wanna fill it nice and snug. And then I'm gonna take a piece of scrap poster board and trace the bottom of the cone on top. Now I'm gonna use this as a guide to run a bead of hot glue on that circle. And then I'm gonna place the bottom of the cone on top and secure it into place. And then once it's nice and secure, all I have to do is trim off the excess with my X-Acto knife. And then just repeat this for the second cone. So now we're gonna to start to work with that nautical rope. Now, you just wanna remove the packaging and cut the tape off of the end. Now what we want to do is start to separate it until it's three strands. Now once that is done, we're just going to take one of those strands and we want to start to apply it at the very top. And you just want to start to wrap it around and apply hot glue around the cone as you go. Now you wanna do this until the entire cone is covered. And then you can cover your second cone. And now we can start to embellish our trees. Now I will start by using this berry garland. 
And what I want to do is I want to unpackage that and then start wrapping the garland around the top of the tree and continuing at an angle all the way down to the bottom. And then secure the top with a dab of hot glue. And then we also want to clip off the end at the bottom and secure that with hot glue as well. Now for my smaller tree, I wanted to do something different, so I'll be using these smaller berries. Now I will be removing them from the stems, and what I'm going to do is start applying them to the tree with hot glue. Now you can apply these any way you like. You can use whole berries, you can cut them in half and make them half berries. You can mix the large and the small. You can just do whatever that you like. And now that your two trees are ready, you can decorate with them. Then here are my two little trees on display, and I think these are super cute. Now I love the neutral color of the rope, and it makes it a perfect canvas for any type of embellishment. Now you can use lights, ornaments, garland, jewels, you just can make this however you like. You guys have to let me know in the comments how you would decorate these little trees. Now the second project will be a set of light posts. Now for this project, we'll start with two of these candle bowls from the Dollar Tree. We're going to need two of these glass candle holders from the Dollar Tree. And also two of these LED tap lights from the Dollar Tree. Now I will be repurposing these candle holders I already had for this project. Now what we're going to do is apply two coats of this black acrylic paint to them and you want to make sure that they are completely dry in between the coats. Now if you don't want to use acrylic paint, you certainly can use spray paint, chalk paint, or any paint that you like. Now as you apply the paint, you just want to make sure that it's applied nice and even for the best finish and here they are completely dry. So now we want to grab those tap lights. Now we're going to be painting these black as well to match, but first you always want to make sure that they're working properly. Now what I'm going to do is apply painter's tape to the light portion, and once I tape over the light, we're just going to trim off the excess with an X-Acto knife. So now what we want to do is apply two coats of that paint to the white portion of the tap light, making sure they dry in between the coats. And here they are all dry, and I did apply a coat of Mod Podge to protect them, and that is an option. So now we can start to assemble our lamp post by placing one of the candy bowls on top of the candle holders. Now for a permanent bond, you always want to use E6000 and along with your hot glue for this step. Now I may repurpose these candle uh, lamp posts, so I will just use hot glue for this project. Now I'm just going to apply a bead around the top of that candle holder and then what I want to do is place one of those candle bowls right on top. And now we can embellish our lamps. So what I'm going to take is some greenery branches and you can use this from a stash or you can get some of these actually from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to take one um, and join it with another one and form it into a wreath. Now once it's nice and formed, you can trim it down if needed. And then make a second one. Now to embellish these, I'm going to grab a cluster of berries from this branch that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm just going to be cutting off single berries to put on my wreaths. So I'm going to hold the berries with a pair of tweezers that I got from the Dollar Tree and then apply a dab of that hot glue. And then I'm just going to apply it to the wreath. And here's one of our wreaths completed and we want to do the same with the other. Now to make bows for the wreaths, I'm going to take some of this small checkered ribbon and I'm going to tie two small bows. And 
then to hang the wreaths on the bowls I'm gonna wrap the ribbon around the wreath and for a measurement I'm just gonna hold it up to the bowl and just make an estimate and cut a strip and then I'm just gonna repeat this and cut a second strip Now after our bows are trimmed down, we can add them to the wreath and you just wanna apply hot glue to the back and place them at the bottom of the wreath. And then you wanna take your piece of ribbon to um, hang it and you just wanna wrap it around just take a general eyeball measurement and you make sure the ends are glued together first. And then take that end and wrap it over the edge of that candy bowl and you just want to secure it to the inside of the bowl. And then you just repeat this for your other bowl and put the lids on with your light and you are done. So now everything is light and airy and you can place these on display how adorable are these little lights now i really love the way that these look and love them even more that they can be customized and you can place a battery votive candle inside some acrylic gems for a little sparkle or you can even add another candle holder at the bottom to make this a little higher any way you make them they will be super sweet and adorable Now the third project is a lighted winter house scene. Now for this project, we'll start with three of these houses from the Dollar Tree. We we'll need one pack of these yellow battery LED lights from the Dollar Tree. And we we'll need one of these trays from the Dollar Tree in any color. Now the first thing we're going to do is take the tray and all of the houses and I want to paint them with two coats of the Zinser White Primer. Now this provides an awesome, perfect coat for this project. Now when everything is fully dry, you want to gather up all of your painted pieces. So now I'm going to determine the placement of the houses on the back side of the tray. And once they are in place, you want to make a mark on the tray noting the placement of each piece. Now as you remove the houses, you want to indicate the center mark of where the houses sat on the tray. Now this is where we'll be drilling our holes. Now the holes are going to be for those lights. So we're going to protect our work surface and put a large drill bit in our drill. And we want to drill a hole at each one of those center marks that we made on our trays. Now we want to open up those lights and of course before we install them we want to test them out. And everything is good to go. Now we're just going to totally unpackage those and to install these we're going to gather up three lights. And now we're just gonna flip the tray over and we're gonna insert those three lights into the first hole. Now we just wanna insert them until they poke through the edge of the hole. Now once they're nice and even and secure on the back, we're gonna secure them with this electrical tape and I got this from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm just checking everything out to make sure it's good to go. And then we're gonna place four lights in the center hole and three lights at the other end. Now once all the wires are secured with the electrical tape, I'm just gonna clean it up and secure it even more by applying a couple pieces of duct tape across all of the wiring and the tape just for a bit of added security. And then I'm gonna apply a smaller piece to secure that battery pack into place. I'm not gonna put a backing on this because we wanna make sure we can access the battery pack to turn our lights on and off. And now we just straighten up those lights. So now that everything is good to go, we can start adding our houses. Now to make sure we don't make a horrible mess with the glue, I'm gonna outline the entire house with a pencil as a glue guide. 
And then I'm going to trace that outline with hot glue. And then we're going to gently place that house into place. Now we just want to repeat this for the other two houses. And here are all of my houses all applied. Now if you have any glue peeking out of the edge, you could just touch it up with a bit of white acrylic paint if you like. So now we're going to be adding snow to the tray and I will be using this Mod Podge on it. So all you have to do is make sure your snow is open and ready to go and then we can start to apply a generous layer of that Mod Podge to the tray. Now we want to apply this in small sections because Mod Podge will dry quickly. And we just want to place a thick layer of that Mod Podge on there and then we want to sprinkle on some snow to that, a nice good layer of that and we want to tap it into place. And then we're going to repeat this process for the rest of the tray in small sections. Now once all of the snow is applied, we're going to make two small circles in the front for two trees that we will add later. So once it's almost dry, what we're going to do is we are going to tip it over and shake off and tap any excess snow off. Now since I am so extra, I am going to go ahead and seal in that snow with another layer of Mod Podge and this will guarantee there will be no additional snow shedding. And then we just want to let this completely dry. So now that this is all dry and everything is in place, we can add our two trees. Now I got these little trees from Dollar General and I will be applying one on each side of that middle house with hot glue. And there you go. Here is our beautiful winter scene. Now all we have to do is turn on those beautiful lights and place this on display. Oh my goodness, I really love how these houses turned out. Now Dollar Tree really has some great houses selections this year and they're really great quality. And I love how they look when they're painted that beautiful white. Then turn down the lights and enjoy that warm glow of the house lights. You guys have to let me know in the comments which one of these projects today was your favorite. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook for the latest new sneak peeks and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you subscribe by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all next time.